Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling a Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at some of the latest examples that are up on the Zim site. Uh, but we're going to sneak a little example in here first, and this is a, for my students, I'm making a, this is a build it exam practice. And so there to build this. That's a sprite that's on the screen, and we're using a swiper. So with the swiper, we can swipe through the sprite. And we swipe through, we hit go, and we've been working with the squiggle and the blob a little bit. So that said, make a peanut. So let's try and make a peanut with these shapes and we'll see what happens. We can we make a peanut? I think I can. <laughs> it's a pretty funny looking peanut. The fat peanut. Uh, there we go. Uh, one fat peanut coming up. And when we drop the ends so that they connect like that, there's our peanut and it's draggable. So what we've just done is started with a squiggle and when we joined the squiggle, turned it into a blob and we just passed the squiggles points to the blob and made a blob based on the squiggles points. So pretty cool, I really, really like that idea and there we are using it as a map. So we had gone through and talked about updates to recent Zim. Uh, here's a mask being dragged that is a blob and, and mask set mask is working properly. We also have updated uh, how the points work and ma made that all a little bit easier to use in there. So that's great. That's that one. Uh, now back on the Zim site, zimjs.com and clicking examples. So here's the Zim site and click examples. There's a couple new ones in here. Hello, uh, Dr. Abstract. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Uh, a couple new ones in here. We've left, uh, we're leaving Zimbit sort of as the first one because it's got lots of examples in it. So we just left that up in the corner. T-Bugs is a, an app that we've made that we spent a bit of time on with the squiggle and making the bugs follow the squiggle and stuff. So we've left that as a feature. Here are two that we haven't seen yet. So these are new and there's where the bubbling before the last uh, ended up at the, the GPU power with raw. Okay, so which one do you want to look at? Let's say, I suppose, look at the Etch-a-Sketch first. So I'd seen an Etch-a-Sketch in uh, on a Twitter example somewhere. Somebody had made an Etch-a-Sketch in HTML and the canvas. They were using HTML for the dials and the canvas for the drawing part. And it was 1,000, no, 10,000, yeah, 10,000 characters. So 10,000 bits of code to be able to do that once you've stripped the comments. Not that there were very many. And it was ugly code too, as in very, very short variables and just, you know, like arg. I can hardly understand this. And I kind of looked at that and said, oh my God, I think we could do better than that. And and this is a Zim etch a sketch here. So the you know the traditional etch a etch a sketch as we're doing, or I can use the the arrows to 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 move around as well and it's now uh, multi-user or not multi-user that'd be kind of cool uh, multi-touch as well so if we had multi-touch we could run both of these at the same time um etch a sketch anyway zim uh, this is uh 5, characters so 10,000 characters versus 5,000 characters this is 5,000 characters of very readable code uh, as opposed to 10,000 characters of chicken scratch, of doing CSS transformation animations. <laughs> it's like, ah! So, um, there you go, uh, an Etch-a-Sketch. And let's try another one here. So the other one was Portal. Now this is, this, oh, the portal has arrived, woohoo! There, we've just rolled over the portal. And uh, now we're in the jungle, and we roll over again. Oh, we're in the peaceful space of space. And we come out, and we roll over the portal, and we're back into the cityscape. Neat, huh? <laughs> so that was just a little bit of uh, fun to have a, a portal there. And you can make any object into a portal. It can also work just going between two objects. That's how we had it initially. Uh, but uh, then I thought, hey, I'll just show you how to do this too. And so check out the portal 
class in Zim. Uh, it's under the controls. Let's just um, go out and take a look at the controls for a second. So in the docs, we will uh, zoom in on this so you can see. Oh, uh, we added these things. So we'll just jump to the controls right there. Here are the controls. So we've got a ticker, accessibility, increase this so you can see, accessibility, swipe, uh, pages, so we can do a number of pages, hotspots, um, and a single hotspot, a couple managers for resizing and things, a transform manager, so we can save all transforms and stuff, a uh, guide, a guide manager, a grid, a grid manager, layout, that's responsive design, and a layout manager, parallax, uh, scrolling backgrounds, a scroller, a dynamo is a dynamic sprite control, an accelerator controls the dynamo and the scrollers to uh, synchronize that stuff, a swiper uh, we saw in that book example, a motion controller which includes uh, gamepad control, oh uh, yeah I, I guess it does motion controller and there's specifically the gamepad, a particle emitter uh, controlling uh, sound wave stuff and <laughs> And there it is, the portal, and you can pass it some lands that you want to go through. So whatever object is the portal and an array of lands that you want to go to when you operate that portal. So that's a pretty tasty looking batch of controls. Um, there are some advanced interactivity uh, things that I had done in Flash, things like uh, um, animating to the webcam, and I hope to bring that in pretty soon to here. Um, we've got multi-touch going on. Uh, Multi-user is in ZimSocket, so ZimSocket is an external uh, library. Uh, but it's there and it's cool um, for controls. Now what else do we need? What other kind of controls do we have? Uh, I'm not sure, but I do want to get that um, the waving at a webcam one in here um, at some point. So there you go. Cool! And that is what's bubbling at Zim. Showed you a couple uh, new examples, uh, which are a lot of fun. And have a great day. If uh, if you're digging Zim, try it out. Uh, go to the the badges, Zim badges, and try some Zim badges. We're about to launch another badge based on a holiday card that we're making. Oh, should have shown you that. Darn. Uh, well, it's not done yet. So that will be another bubbling for a later date. We're doing that in physics and we'll turn that into a badge as well to work through the, uh, the physics and what we're building there. Looking forward to it. Ciao. I'm Inventor Dan Zen at ZimJS.com. Bye.